Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a tool that I use to come up with new topic ideas and things to write about, things to, uh, you know, potential search volume to go after. And I'm gonna share a tool that, you know, a lot of people in the SEO industry say that everything is rehashed and it's, you know, everything that SEOs share is just, they got from somewhere else and, and used, it's just the same stuff being shared over and over again. This is one tool though, I've never seen anyone else in the industry talk about it. I'm sure that they have, I'm sure somebody has, but the people that I follow, I, I've never seen anyone discuss using this tool. It's a tool from Google that came out uh, a few years ago. It just was released in the US market about a year and a half ago. I've been using it for most of this year, off and on. Um, it's a tool called Question Hub. Before we dive into that, I wanna remind you, if you haven't already, head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the email list there where I email out tips like this every single week. All right, so let's go in the Question Hub. Question Hub is a tool that Google has put out to help, they, they say it's to help content creators um, or to help publishers you know, create better content. Uh, what they do is they've kind of crowdsourced information from users on searches that are not producing great search results or not producing adequate answers. Uh, if you just do a search for Question Hub, it'll be the first result or it's questionhub.withgoogle.com. And they go over a brief outline of what it does. Um, basically what, they're, what they've done, like I said, they've just collected data from users that these are searches where there's content gaps online. There's, there's not a, Google's not found a good answer or people who have used, you know, done these searches feel like there's not, great answers for what they're searching for out there. And you can fill that gap. So I'm not gonna go through the sign up process. You can do that on your own. It's very straightforward. Um, they will make you connect it to Google search. Uh, you need to log in with an account that's connected to Google Search Console and you will have to select either, you know, all the websites that you're managing or working with, or at least one website um, to access through here. As I said, this is a tool that, um, it was just released in the United States maybe a year and a half ago. It's not everywhere in the world, so it may not be available depending where you are, where you're watching this video from. Um, but I think it's been released in quite a bit, uh, you know, most countries at this point. The way the Question Hub works is, and I just created a new account here. I'm not logging into my existing account because I have a whole bunch of projects going on and I don't want to share client information, but it's really simple you select a topic that you want to search for. And what I've found using this is you want to not, you want to be careful not to go too broad with the topics that you choose. If you go too broad, you're just going to get flooded with a ton of stuff that you're gonna to have to sort through. It's not, you're not going to find the tool as useful. You want to go a little bit more specific, but I wouldn't go super specific. Like we're not talking, these are not like long tail keywords that you want to go after. You, you just won't find a whole lot of information there. So for example, if I was doing project management, I might pick a couple types of project management um, or areas that t popular topics within project management. For example, um, I might do agile project management. And once I type that in, I can choose to follow this keyword. And once I follow it, these are the list of questions that Google's identified again through user interactions that maybe there's not the best answers out there for them. Sometimes I find it's a little bit, you know, kind of false positives. When I, when I go and look at the searches myself, I'm, I, I see answers that look pretty good to me. But a lot of these, I'll, I'll find some topics that really the search results are not doing a great job. So agile project management would be one. Um, I might also do topics like sprint, which is also very related to that sprint project management. And I'll choose to follow that. In this case, no questions came up. Um, I might do a topic like get a little bit more specific, but not too specific, like a sprint backlog and choose to follow that. And then you'll see, and you could go to scrum, you could do searches on that. So again, you want to do topics that are not real, real broad, but not the type of, you know, you know, like when you're doing keyword research, a lot of people like to do these long tail keywords that are really specific. That's not what you wanna do here. You wanna choose something fairly broad within the, within the niche or within the topic, and then just start looking through these questions. And what you can do now is 
you may already have content that answers one of these questions, but for whatever reason, Google's not bubbling up your piece of content. Or these are this is a way that I get topic ideas that I'll go and start thinking about, you know, are there some of these topics? Should we should we write a new article about it? Or do we have an existing article where maybe I can add a, a heading and cover this topic and answer these these questions? All of them are questions. Um, obviously, it's called Question Hub. And you can then submit. So if you had a URL to submit that, for example, if I had an answer to this question, how long should you spend carrying out product backlog refinement? You can submit your URL right there. And what you'll see then, once you've submitted URLs, if you go to the performance, it will start to show you over time. You'll start to see, you'll start to see where your questions, how they're doing. Um, the search impressions are getting, how many articles you submitted, answer, questions you've answered. Um, and sometimes it may be the same article you submit for multiple questions, that, and that's fine. So that's why there's a difference between questions, answers, and articles submitted. And then the number of search clicks that, that, you know, that you're getting from this. And it'll, it'll, give, it'll show you, um, you know, a little more detailed information about how they're performing. But I've found this to be a, um, and let me, once you refresh the page then, so it'll show you what topics you're following then too. And you can, you know, every now and then go back and take a look through these. And I, I found that a great way to get topic ideas and to get ideas for additional content that maybe we add into existing articles and uh, we've had some pretty good performance from it. So, so again, just a really simple way to find some, some new topics to write about, or you may have already written about these topics and you're just not getting good results. You can try submitting it here and see if Google gives your content a little bit of a push for these um, specific questions. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure that you head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the email list there, and I'll catch everyone in the next one.